Contextual navigations have been available in planner workspaces since release 2405. Since then, we've enhanced this capability. In this video, we will take a brief look at the main intention and explore the options that are currently available. Additionally, we will have a look at the new enhancements coming with release 2502. The main intention of a contextual navigation is to pass a filter from a source component to a target component, SAPGUI system, or web app to analyze data and gain more insights. By using contextual navigations and applying meaningful filters, you can achieve better performance and usability. There are several reasons why contextual navigations can positively impact usability. Let's focus on two aspects. If you use contextual navigations, there's no need to apply a filter manually, which also makes it redundant to think about what a meaningful filter might be. In addition, once you apply the contextual navigation, you'll look only at data points that interest you, instead of scrolling through a long list. Before designing a contextual navigation, consider whether you want to pass a filter to a target component that is already added to the workbook, or whether you want to add the target component on the go. There are valid reasons for both options. You have multiple options to determine the filter pass to the target. Let's look at some examples. The first use case is to simply pass a filter. In this context, you can define which attributes should be passed and whether you want to hand over the filter applied to the source component as well. Here's how you can apply the contextual navigation. The next step is to analyze the capacities. We must define not to pass the product ID as a filter. Otherwise, the capacity utilization would be determined the wrong way. Remember that we talked about the usability aspect a couple of seconds ago? In this step, we can define the attribute mapping to ensure that the filter doesn't break. Without the mapping, the target component won't be able to show any data. And now, let's trigger the navigation. Already in previous releases, you were able to navigate to another web application or to the SAP GUI. Now you can also define in what context this navigation shows up. For instance, you can define that the navigation only shows up in one particular component. In addition to the previous enhancement, you can now use master data to look up filter values. In the navigation we used previously, we were only able to pass the location ID as a filter. Consequently, we saw all resources available in the location. This might result in a large data set. By using the master data approach, we can make sure to only show resources that are related to the product ID and source ID in question. Now it's on you to configure your first contextual navigations. Most likely you already have several use cases in mind. In the meantime, we will further fine-tune the contextual navigation feature. So stay tuned. 